So another great bayonet book for collectors to look at, especially those who collect uh, specifically German bayonets and um, other sidearms, would be uh, this book right here, German Sidearms and Bayonets by Klaus Luba. Um, this is a pretty solid one, actually. It's another encyclopedic style um, bayonet book, but it has a couple other things which make it a bit interesting. It's nice hardcover. Um, you know, it kind of stands out. It's got the red and white. Kind of stands out on your shelf. Uh, so it is written in German and English. If you didn't see that on the cover there, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, it was translated by Anthony Carter, who, uh, you know, in the bayonet world, uh, bayonet book world, you can't get away from. He's everywhere. <coughs> um, so the foreword basically says that this book was originally published nine years ago, and that's, I suppose, nine years ago from the year 2000. Uh, so 1991. So it says that uh, nine years ago it was originally published and he decided he had to add more stuff and make this second edition here. Um, basically, in this book you get, uh, like I said, that encyclopedic style where it says this is a bayonet and it has a picture that goes with it. Uh, but... Another interesting factor to this book is that there is a price guide, you know, um, and, and still I've gone through these and it looks like a lot of these prices are still, you know, pretty applicable for the most part. Um, a lot of a lot of things have gone up in price, yes, but uh, some of these prices, especially like the uh, higher higher end ones, make sense. So this book uh, also includes. Uh, like children's toy bayonets and oh look at that there it is <laughs> it uh, includes children's toy bayonets and other uh, like trial bayonets so you know not just a everyday German butcher bayonet or whatever and there's occasionally other photos put into here uh, close-ups of maker marks and things like that so Overall, this is a pretty solid bayonet book to own if you're collecting.